Hello, and welcome to Getting Started with Real-Time Streaming with Amazon Interactive Video Service. I'm Todd Sharp, and I'm a Principal Developer Advocate for Amazon IBS. In this video, you'll learn about our newest service offering, which empowers developers to build live streaming applications with real-time latency. You'll learn some new terminology, and we'll look at the technical differences between real-time streams that utilize WebRTC, and traditional low latency live streams that are delivered via HLS. Let's get started. Prior to real time streaming, live streams on Amazon IVS relied on HLS to deliver high quality video with low latency. Depending on how the Amazon IVS channel is configured and the device and network capabilities of the viewer, HLS is capable of delivering up to 1080p quality video with usually under five seconds of latency. For most streams, this much latency is perfectly acceptable. However, more and more customers and use cases are demanding real-time latency from their live streaming platform, which simply isn't possible with traditional HLS delivery. What kinds of use cases can't be handled by traditional low latency live streams? Well, the growth of just chatting style live streams is the driving force behind one of the most popular use cases for real-time streams. Think of a multi-host live stream where each host is in a different physical location. If there was two to five seconds of latency between a host asking a question and another host responding to the question, the resulting stream would not be very fun to watch for viewers. What about sports? There is nothing more frustrating than watching a stream of a sporting event and hearing your next door neighbor cheer about something that happened in the game before the play even starts in your own stream. Virtual classrooms are another popular use case. Being able to deliver classroom content and receive immediate feedback, questions, and interaction from a large audience of virtual students is becoming mandatory in the education world. This experience is simply not possible without real-time streaming. Dating apps are another possible use of real-time live streams. Being able to instantly start a real-time chat with another user greatly increases the user experience of a dating application. To address these emerging use cases, we're introducing Amazon IBS Real-Time Streaming, which utilizes WebRTC for real-time latency. Amazon IVS real-time streams can broadcast 720p video from multiple hosts to thousands of viewers with as low as 300 milliseconds of latency. How you utilize these real-time streams depends on your use case. We give developers several options for building out applications with our web and mobile SDKs. You'll want to be familiar with a few new terms like stage and participant token when working with Amazon IBS real-time streams and reading through the documentation. There are three steps necessary to try out real-time streaming with Amazon IBS. Creating a stage, generating participant tokens, and publishing and subscribing. There are several ways to create a stage. You can use the AWS console, the AWS CLI, or any of the AWS SDKs. Now your application will probably create stages on demand via the SDK, but to quickly test things out, let's create one via the AWS console. From the Amazon IBS console homepage, click on Stages in the left-hand sidebar. From the Stage List page, click on Create Stage. Enter a stage name and click Create Stage. Each participant that connects to a stage must have a participant token. From the Stage Details page, click on Create a Participant Token. Enter a user ID, choose Publish and Subscribe from the Capabilities dropdown, and click Create a Participant Token. We can test out our stage with this basic sample application. Visit the code pen by clicking on the link in the video description or by scanning the QR code on your screen. Choose a camera and microphone, then paste in the participant token that we generated earlier. Next, click Join Stage. Now generate a second participant token and open the code pen in a new browser tab or on a completely separate device. Paste in the second participant token and click Join Stage. At this point, 
we're running a real-time stream between two participants. In this video, we've barely scratched the surface of what is possible with Amazon IBS real-time streaming. To learn more and get started creating your own real-time streaming applications, check out the link in the description below.